could go onwards uh, uh, with the program and um, you're invited to respond directly to the questions in the chat. Thank you, that's so, fine. Thank you very much for your presentation. I would have said many things on that, but um, okay. So thanks, and um, uh, let's shift to the to the next presentation of uh, um, Obdaid Sara. Sara is with us, and uh, I can see the image. And yeah. um, Sara is presenting. Uh, a research on acoustic monitoring of wetland habitats in dry regions in Kuwait, uh, bird community dynamics related to migration. Thank you uh, for introducing me and thank you for having me here. Uh, uh, and uh, one um, remarks, uh, my name is Sarah Obeid. <laughs> That's uh, the correct name. Um, so uh, my presentation today is part uh, of my B uh, ongoing uh, PhD research uh, as I'm a PhD student in Sorbonne University, the Museum, National Museum of Na uh, Natural History. Uh, it's uh, uh, the acoustic uh, monitoring uh, uh, of wetland habitats in dry regions uh, in Kuwait. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, let me give you a background about Kuwait. Uh, it lies in the northern side of the Arabian Gulf, uh, just in the middle uh, of the Middle East. Uh, also, the uh, migration plays an important role uh, in, in the country because uh, the country is uh, on the crossroad of three uh, major migratory routes. Uh, the wetland in Kuwait uh, plays also a very important uh, role in the uh, bird uh, uh, richness in Kuwait. Uh, there are the temporary water filled depression during the rainy season. And also we have the constructed artificial wetlands. Uh, they play uh, as a shelter for many migrant birds uh, and also a breeding habitat for the resident and wintering birds. And also they are a uh, foraging resource for many species. Uh, Kuwait is very rich in the uh, avifauna. We have like 415 species, uh, 100, uh, 140 water species, 46 as residents, nearly 300 passage migrants, uh, 234 winter visitors and 85 summer visitors. And we can see uh, some of the uh, um, inland uh, desert birds and uh, some of the uh, b uh, water birds. So uh, resident and migratory birds can build uh, complex uh, assemblage in the wetland uh, habitat. Uh, the ecosystem dynamic can be altered by the arrival and departure uh, of the migratory species. Uh, so monitoring these dynamics around the year can uh, reveal very important information about the habitat usage uh, and ecosystem health that can be useful to the environmental managers. So uh, uh, it's very interesting to uh, investigate these dynamics using both conventional uh, and uh, uh, acoustic tools. So for this uh, study, we have uh, three main objectives. Uh, the first is the assessment of the Kuwait avifauna, uh, richness, phenology, and turnover. Uh, the second is estimation of community acoustic diversity using the alpha acoustic indices and the estimation of the arrival and departure date of the migratory species using the acoustic automatic identification. So for the uh, first objectives, uh, we use the historical and recent records uh, from uh, eBird. Uh, eBird is uh, uh, a platform used by uh, observer all around the world. Uh, they can record their uh, observation. Um, it recently used uh, as what, what we call it, uh, the citizen science, as it lends its database to the interested uh, scientists upon requests. So in this uh, study, we choose four uh, distinguished habitat uh, in Kuwait. First, the coastal, the desert, uh, freshwater habitats and farms habitats. First, we requested and downloaded the Kuwait data from the eBird uh, uh, organization site. 
We processed and filled the data using the AUK package in our software, which is developed by the eBird. Uh, we filtered to include only the unique and complete checklist from the data. Uh, we counted the species richness for the habitats, the four habitats, and also for uh, six years, uh, starting from uh, 2015 uh, till uh, 2020. So the preliminary result we got, we compared between the habitat and years uh, using the MDS analysis. We found that there is a significant difference between the habitat regarding the species composition. They are very dis distinguished uh, for uh, the fresh and coastal uh, from the farm and desert uh, species. We also found uh, uh, the first uh, graph uh, comparing all uh, data from all uh, six years. And you can see the trend. We have two peaks uh, from uh, uh, species richness um, in the spring and fall uh, migration. Uh, the spring is uh, almost uh, ma uh, March, April, and the fall is starting from September, October till November. Uh, so for the uh, second objectives, we will test several indices and in, estimate in the species richness of the wetland communities. And also we will compare that with the human-based uh, observation. We will compare the species richness between the fresh and desert bird community. We will compute the uh, dissimilarity indices between the two sites, the different spots uh, within the sites, also between the seasons and migration times and date time variation. So for this uh, objectives, uh, we have two uh, study sites. First, the wetland, uh, freshwater wetlands in Jahrabur Reserve. It is an artificial and constructed wetlands in Kuwait. Uh, this reserve helped uh, restoring uh, many uh, important species. Uh, and it established and declared a natural reserve in 1987. And you can see it in the map, it's in the middle of Kuwait. Uh, and near uh, uh, the coast. So it's uh, like a transition between coast and freshwater uh, habitats. The second uh, uh, site is a desert site uh, in the kept research station. It's a natural dry habitat. Uh, the vegetation dominated by uh, the national uh, uh, land of Kuwait is the interim epiposum. You can see it here in the first picture. And it's as a resting site of migratory species, and you can see where it, uh, where it is uh, in the middle of uh, Kuwait Desert. We use the automated recording units, the SM, uh, the, uh, acoustic, uh, the wildlife acoustic SM4s. Uh, we uh, put uh, in, um, in 500 meters apart to avoid the BC2 uh, replication. The first one uh, is uh, in the desert site. The second. Uh, in the freshwater site, and the third, how we uh, install uh, and prepare the uh, some falls in the sites. For the recording scheme, uh, we start from two hours before the sunset until two hours after sunrise. We record two minutes uh, uh, each 10 minutes. So we record two minutes and uh, not recording eight minutes. So with the 24 files before sunset uh, and uh, 24 after sunrise, we have like more than uh, 3,500 uh, hours of recordings. Uh, so uh, as we say, as I said, uh, we will uh, compare the acoustic with the uh, conventional uh, uh, visual uh, tools. We will do the point counts at the position of each recorder with one local expert with 15 minutes observation uh, after five minutes of resting in the, in the site. We will collect the uh, weather data and we don't count birds further than 800, um, sorry, uh, 100 meter. So uh, for preliminary analysis, uh, we analyze the audio files from the Jahra what, uh, Freshwater uh, Reserve uh, from August till December. Uh, we uh, compared for the uh, region of interest index, which is uh, computes the um, area around uh, the acoustic event. So this uh, uh, index gives us the total uh, sum of the 
acoustic uh, acoustic events in the spectrogram. We computed that with the MAD Python package. So this is some of the graphs we get from uh, uh, this analysis. You can see the darker uh, uh, areas, that means uh, more uh, acoustic events. Uh, so you can see uh, uh, the darker areas uh, around uh, the um, dusk and dawn, and that represent the dusk and dawn uh, chorus. And you can see the shift uh, among weeks so uh, we have the weeks uh, on the uh, y-axis and the uh, time of the day on the uh, x-axis. Uh, so also you can see some, uh, during, um, nearly October, you can see some darker spots uh, in the, uh, around the uh, midnight. And uh, that may ha uh, have a result uh, from the uh, migration time. Uh, because of the night activity of migratory birds. Also here you can see uh, um, uh, two peaks uh, around uh, uh, dawn and dusk. Uh, and also you can see in October where uh, it's uh, uh, during the migration season, you can see peaks around the midnight and uh, uh, night time because uh, of the uh, night activity of the migratory birds as they um, migrate during the night. For the third objectives, uh, we will uh, use some of the indi indicator migratory species, which have some uh, uh, pattern uh, and using the pattern recognition techniques, like uh, we will have the, the species like uh, erosion hopu, the hopu lark, Great red dwarfer and the erosion curlew, uh, erosion teal, and you see uh, you can see here uh, two species: the erosion hoopo and the laughing dog. Some of the uh, challenges we will have: these two uh, species have um, the same f uh, frequency range and the, the same um, uh, spectrogram uh, pattern. And for the unexpert uh, ear. Uh, you can hear it as the same sound, but they are totally different species. So this it's, is a challenge. So we will use the Kaleidoscope uh, software uh, to process the files and to, to produce the cluster and classify, classify to identify the bird species. And you can see it's a screenshot and you can see here, also we have uh, some uh, of the challenges because uh, sometimes it gives, uh, we have two uh, species on the same uh, period uh, with the higher frequency species, and also you can see very low uh, frequency species here. Uh, so we will um, use that to uh, identify the birds um, in uh, any time of the year. So we will see the arrival and departure of these uh, indicator species. So thank you uh, all for listening. Uh, and do you have any questions? And uh, I want to uh, thank the audience, uh, my supervisor, Dr. Jeram Sewer and Dr. Frederick Jiggy, and also my colleagues, uh, and also my uh, funders, uh, the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research in Kuwait. Thank you. So thank you, Sarah, for your presentation. and. Uh... And um, we, we always run uh, out of time. <laughs> I see your presentation was listed as a 10 minutes, five yes. plus five as a poster presentation. But yes. uh, it was so interesting that we, we, we kept it going. Maybe there's time just for a question. And I see there is a, a question um, from Renata Susa Lima. Will you, will you be recording at night? This is... Yes, yeah. The uh, recording uh, is going uh, during the night, yes. Mm. Very, very quickly, Olivier Metcalf. Hi, uh, yeah, that was a great presentation. It was really interesting. Uh, I was just interested when you did your manual assessment of the bird species, so you did point counts out in the field. Did you attempt to replicate that from the sound recordings at all, so you identify uh, species lists from, from the recordings manually? Yes, that's uh, that one of the uh, uh, the method we will be using. 
uh, I will be listening to some uh, part of the uh, the audio recording during the same time of the observation uh, to identify uh, the bird uh, species uh, which is recorded uh, in the uh, um, in the uh, in the recorder and the audio files and also uh, to compare uh, how how um, this um, the diversity of what we got from uh, identifying birds in the audio files and uh, using the uh, visual uh, observation. Okay, great. I'll, I'll send you a message because I don't think we've got time to talk about it. Yeah, now, thank I'll, you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, Obdaid, uh, Sara. Obeid. And uh, <laughs> good luck for your work. For thank your you. Work. Thank you. And, uh, and so um, I remember to everybody what uh, also um, Diego Luzia was, uh, was, was saying the first day, when you, when you pose questions in the chat list, just put question and, uh, and uh, two points so that uh, it's easier to find it. Question to whom, because the chat goes, uh, uh, is, uh, is both a, a place where to communicate technical things and to do the question and answer. So, Questions in, in, in capital letters would help everybody. And uh, please keep the, within the 15, 20 minutes and uh, um, just uh, uh, see your time. I, don't I hate to do the, the, the clock of the session and I would prefer to do the, the, the moderator of the discussion after the presentations. So if you like to, to really, if you, if you can really uh, keep uh, within your 15 minutes time would be appreciated to, to, to make the conference a, a place where to uh, also to, to discuss and to pose question and answers. So uh, the next presentation